Hi all. Welcome to BA Careers. Business Analysis for Beginners. In this video let us observe what business analysts should do and what business analysts should not do. The do's and don'ts for business analysts. As a business analyst is the person who speaks with clients, he, she should know do and don'ts. This is part of business analyst role and responsibilities. 1. Never say no to a client. When a client is explaining his problem or giving requirements, listen carefully and try to understand what he, she is trying to explain. And never say, no, to the client if front, because here client is explaining his problem and he expects some solution from us. So rather than say, no, we can provide alternate solutions after speaking and discussing with our internal teams. 2. Never imagine anything in terms of gi. Never imagine the requirements by seeing graphical representation, asking the right questions to clients and get clarity on the requirements. Login page may be the same for most of the websites but functionality is different. For example, if you want to log in to any website we need to enter the correct user ID and password to log in the page. Here user ID and password is common, but password length and validations differ from website to website based on the client requirement. Example, password should be 10 characters and it should have at least one capital letter and one special character. 3. Question everything. Never feel bad to ask questions, ask the right questions and get clarity from the client. You can ask the questions till you get clarity. Sometimes client may not tell the complete requirement unless you ask the questions. Example, client will say I need a login page. But here you need to ask multiple questions to the client to get clarity. Let us see some sample questions here. What are the validations required? Terms and conditions are required or not. And when this button should be disabled or enabled. Which type of error message should be shown on the screen if the user enters the wrong password or user id. Password length should be how much and all. 4. Consult an SME for clarifications in requirements. If the requirement is not clear and you need more clarity on the requirement, then we can discuss with the SME, subject matter expert. And ensure to document the requirements that you discussed with SME and get approval from the solution owner. And explain to him what you understand by discussing with the SME. 5. Every problem of a client is unique. Every problem of client is unique, so talk to the client with an open mind with no assumptions from your previous experience. Never come to any conclusion before listening or understanding all the aspects of the requirement from the client. If you have a slight amount of doubt about any demand or change it's always preferable to clear it with the client, subject matter expert, or with your team member. 6. Do not interrupt the client when he, she is giving you the problem. Listen very carefully and completely to the client as well as to the end user and then ask questions. Don't interrupt them in between. 7. Maximum try to extract the leads to solution from the client itself. 8. Never try to give solutions to clients straight away with your previous experience and assumptions. 9. Should not be in a hurry. Should not gather the requirements in hurry. Conduct the meeting in a convenient time and take your own time to understand the requirement or gather the requirements. Because if you are in a hurry to capture the requirement then there is a chance to misunderstand the requirement. It may lead to project failure. As a business analyst you should have an open mind when you are gathering requirements. 10. BA should focus on what and when to develop rather than focus on how to develop. As a business analyst our responsibility is to understand what to deliver and when to deliver the project. How to develop is the responsibility of TH. A development team or development manager. We need not to concentrate on this part and need not to worry. Always have a prior discussion with your project manager and sponsor before conducting a meeting. 11. Should not miss any requirement. Make sure that you have gathered all the requirements from the stakeholder for your project. 
Missing out any information can result in unwanted redo of the work as well as delay projects and increase cost. 12. Should know what the scope of the project is. Sometimes non-functional requirements of clients are not feasible because of budget or time constraint. So it's always better to liaison with your PM to find out what is out of scope so that all will be on the same page and avoid misunderstanding. I hope it 